South African National Energy Development Institute and the Higher Education and Technology Minister, Blayton Zamandi, are set to meet in Tokyo, Japan, as part of efforts to build a hydrogen economy in South Africa. The engagements will profile the work of the Department of Science and Innovation in Hydrogen Energy. Let's discuss this now with the head of the Energy Secretariat of the South African National Energy Development Institute, Professor Samson Mampweli, who's joining us this hour virtually from Tokyo. Good afternoon, South African time, Prof. Good evening, your time. It's already late at night there in Tokyo, but thank you very much uh, uh, for, for joining us. How important is it that South Africa does what you guys are doing there now, finding out how can we scale up the hydrogen economy? Uh, good good evening uh, from this side, Dan, and the viewers. Uh, so it's quite important because um, Japan started with the hydrogen economy in the 70s, and they are far ahead in terms of uh, that particular economy. We've got cars here running on hydrogen. Uh, I've visited drift welling stations where these cars come in. They spend like uh, five minutes, they, they are full tank, and they can run for 800 kilometers on hydrogen. Uh, I, I, to, today, I just came from a, one of the research centers that has got a huge hydrogen uh, product, green hydrogen production facility uh, that's running partly on solar PV and hydrogen. Uh, when Minister Zimande was here day before yesterday, uh, we had a, a, a ceremony where uh, Japan and South Africa were signing what we call the Memorandum of Cooperation because South Africa is in the process of implementing what we call the Hydrogen Society Roadmap that has been uh, approved by Cabinet uh, sometime in, in, in 2021. And that Hydrogen Society Roadmap basically talk, talks to the scale-up of hydrogen activities from the, the research that South Africa has been doing through the Department of Science and Innovation. Uh, they've invested more than 1 billion rand for the past uh, uh, 12 to 13 years in research in various technologies. So this, this is quite an important milestone. And we've brought with us about 25 South African businesses or companies that are involved in the hydrogen economy, including the ones that are involved in big projects such as the ones in Kuha Development uh, uh, Zone, um, uh, IDZ, as well as um, uh, companies such as your Sasol that are working on big uh, hydrogen projects. A number of deals have already been struck between the South African companies and the Japanese companies because the Japanese also want to import what they call green hydrogen from South Africa to add onto the hydrogen initiatives that they have uh, in, in, in their country. So this, this will attract, um, you know, in the medium to long term, um, something in the region of 100 and 250 billion rand um, based on our projections into the South African economy. It also comes in a very uh, a, a good kind of a, um, a, a situation. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a bad situation where we're facing load shedding. Uh, so we're also looking at how the hydrogen economy can play a role in, in trying to deal with the, the, the energy crisis in the country, for instance. Yeah, I mean, we have no choice but to explore this. You said the minister was there two days ago, and I wonder what kind of impressions he left with. So the minister was highly impressed. Um, so he, he also hosted a, a, a workshop. It, it, it was called South Africa-Japan Workshop, which I chaired uh, on behalf of the department and, and the South African National Energy Development Institute. Uh, in that particular workshop, that's where... Uh, we had Japanese companies presenting. Uh, we had the minister giving a speech, uh, giving a high-level overview of what South Africa has done and also putting across the South African value proposition, uh, basically reaching out to, to, to the Japanese, uh, saying to them, here we are, we are South Africa, we've got the Hydrogen Society Roadmap, we've done quite a lot of work in the past, but we're not where you are as the Japanese. We want to, 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 to learn lessons from you. We want also to export some of our green hydrogen uh, to, 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 to Japan. Uh, the ambassador, um, uh, Mr. Smas Ngonyama, um, was also present. He also gave a speech, uh, basically uh, concurring with the with the minister. The minister went around uh, to, to visit some of the facilities. He was extremely impressed with the work that uh, Japan has been doing. 
And this is um, a, a precursor to the, the state visit by President Ramaphosa, who we are expecting, if his diary agrees, uh, to visit Japan somewhere around November to continue, uh, you know, with the where the, the minister Zimane has left off. Um, the minister left us behind. I'm now uh, left leading the team that's, uh, that has remained behind, going through various other workshops, identifying additional opportunities for, for South Africa and, and South African companies that, are, that have okay. stayed behind as well. So, so the, the mission is doing, going quite well in my view. And the Japanese, how are they receiving you guys? Are they, do they have the appetite to participate in helping us here in South Africa scale up our hydrogen economy or hydrogen capability? Yes, so, so we, we, I was here about three weeks ago in preparation of uh, the minister's visit. Uh, we visited various Japanese companies. We visited the uh, METI, which is their 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 their, their DTIC uh, kind of equivalent uh, in Japan. Uh, they organized uh, various Japanese companies. So we've got companies, big companies such as your Kawasaki Heavy Industries that we're visiting on Monday. Uh, they were part of the, the, the engagements. Uh, other big companies such as your Toyota. Toyota is involved as well in big uh, uh, hydrogen projects. There's quite a number of um, other uh, provinces in, that are involved here in Japan in the hydrogen economy. And they've indicated that they would like to work with South Africa. Uh, there are also Japanese companies that are based in South Africa that are also involved in the hydrogen economy. So most of them have been participating in, in, in most of these workshops. We've got more than 20 Japanese companies that have been participating and engaging with us. And, and most of them are quite amazed at, uh, at the, 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 the small businesses that we brought with us. Uh, from South Africa, because in their in the on their side, it's only big companies that are involved. But on our side, we're looking at small businesses. We've got uh, small businesses that are taking advantage of, of the IP that we've developed in South Africa in the UAV space, in the uh, MEA space, which is your, your your the the engine of your your hydrogen fuel cells. And they're quite impressed with some of the technologies that we've developed. Uh, part of the things that they they they, they pledged to do uh, from the, one of the, the world-class research institute that they have here is to basically take some of the high sub uh, uh, systems um, uh, uh, IP and test it for us and certif kind of certify it for us so that we can be able to export some of the products that we have developed in South Africa into the, the rest of the world because we, we will be having this validation, so to speak, that will be done by the Japanese who have got a, a lot of experience in the field of uh, production of hydrogen, the production and use of hydrogen. Thank you very much, Prof, for your time there from Tokyo and safe travels to you when you return home. That's uh, Professor Samson Mampwedi of the South African National Energy Development Institute.